Hey, welcome to the fifth lesson of our tutorial series on how to create 2048 in Unity. For this lesson, we're going to be creating an action event that'll send a message to our cell script when the player inputs a direction. In the future, we'll then be able to use this action event to shift our 2048 grid in that direction. But before we begin, I'd like to tell you about some of our other tutorial series. If you're enjoying this playlist so far, you might be interested in some of our other full game tutorial series. You can find these lessons on our website website at www.infogamerhub.com development. We currently have lessons on how to create Snake, Pong, Flappy Bird, Zigzag, and Tic-Tac-Toe, with many more to come. So when you're done here, hop on over to our website and check those out. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is open up our game controller script. Now in this script, we're going to be creating an action that will send a message to all the instances of our Cell2048 script. Now to do this, we need to add the namespace using system up at the top, but this will cause some errors with all of our random.range functions because the class random exists in both the system namespace and the unity engine namespace. And so before we call random.range, we want to add unity engine and then we'll add a dot. And so it's unity engine dot random dot range. And we'll do that for all the random dot ranges in the script. So once we've fixed those errors, let's scroll back up to the top and we'll create a public static action and it'll be of type string and we'll call this slide. Next up, let's add in our input controls to the update function. So the first one is going to be if input dot get key down key code w. We can then copy this if statement and paste it in three more times. We'll then change the second w to d the third to S, and the fourth to A. And so we have our inputs for the four directions. We then want to send or broadcast a message through our action. So I'm going to call slide, and then in parentheses, I'm going to pass in the string W. We can then copy this line of code and paste it into all the other if statements and then we'll change the value from W to D and S and A. And so now that we're sending the message, we need to add some code to receive the message. And so let's go ahead and save this script and then we'll go over to our cell 2048 script. Inside this script, we can remove our start and update function and then we'll add in the on enable function and the on disable function. In the on enable function we need to subscribe to the action and so I'm going to type game controller 2048 dot slide plus equals and we'll call the receiving message on slide. We can then copy this line of code and paste it into the on disable function but we'll want to change the plus sign to a minus sign. And so this line of code in the on enable function is how we're subscribing to the action. And this line of code in the on disable function is how we unsubscribe. But it's currently giving us errors for on slide because we haven't created the function yet. And the easiest way to do that is to click on on slide, then hold alt and press enter. We'll then select the first option, which is generate method slide 2048.onslide. And here you can see that it added this function into our script, but I'm going to move it down to the bottom. So here we have a private void function called onslide, and it has a parameter of type string called object. If we want to, we can rename this parameter to what was sent. Now at this point, all I'm going to do is delete this line of code and add in a debug.log where we're going to output the what was sent parameter. And then we'll implement more to this function in a future lesson. Let's go ahead and save this script and we'll go back to Unity. 
inside Unity, all we have to do is hit play. And then when I press W, you can see that W was logged to our console 16 times. And that's because that's how many cells we have. I can then press D, S, and A. So it looks like our action is working properly. Hey, thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you learned something new like how to create an action event, then make sure that you hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.